because I believe in human betterment, ladies and gentlemen, Omar Perez. The reason why I'm performing with the sunglasses is because I have scratched my eye. So I offer you this explanation. Thanks for coming.
filisteos descubrieron que the war es la manera de seguir el de bien en peor acumulando pan al por mayor y produciendo circo al sol No soy un Cristo, tengo la boca grande, no soy Cristo, tengo la lengua larga, no soy Cristo, puedo lamer, chupar, pero soy listo, puedo también callar y proponerte este silencio azul como la muerte donde no hay pasión ni mala suerte. de emanaciones inversas o reversas pero no perversas el kit tal vez de la existencia ruda no soy Buda, no soy Jesucristo pero resisto aunque esté mal visto resistir no soy Superman, Batman Spiderman, Yaman Rasta Una cadena, una cadena.
So now there's an opportunity uh, to ask um, any questions of uh, Omar. Um, and I'll help facilitate any kind of response. Uh, Omar is a translator. He translates um, English into Spanish and is uh, very fluent. So, yeah. So any questions you might have? I mean, Something, please, about your drug? This drug? Yes. Uh, well, you can see it for yourself. Okay. It's just fine. Hey, Omar. Yeah. You're supposed to speak in the mic, so it's cool. Here, you can hold the mic. Now you get to my It's just a pliable box. Oh, so you made, just made that box. Are you going to follow me around with this? No, you're going to sit down. Um, I think the box is very interesting. I've only ever seen um, a Peruvian con, which is like um, you play the front holes in the back. So I think it's interesting that this is more like a drum, which you know you classically play on top. You know? um, is there any reason why you have like a uh, it's uh, because uh, ah, because I conceive this box as a um, as a young girl. You know? Normally, these uh, classifications are according to sound. You know, the, the sound is more masculine or more feminine, and uh, it's according to the measures. So, mm -hmm. I I may thinking of uh, yes, waxing one in the sense it's. Uh, it's a young girl that is growing, so it's a female drum that eventually will become a woman, <laughs> something like that. Now I said this is a, like a four year old drum. How long? Four years. Four years. And so the cube, oh sorry, to keep going, but the Cuban rhythm, that's what you're playing the whole time. Does that? Uh, there are some Cuban rhythms in there. Uh, there is a lot of four by four. You know? yeah, yeah, four yeah. by four is uh, it's not only Cuba, it's very, yeah. it's very widespread. Other questions? Up the the gap between um, simple words that are simply words and words that become lyrics. Where does that happen? Words that are simply words and words that become lyrics. Is that is that the, the thing? Yeah. Uh, we are just working on that uh, path of uh, between the the song and the poem. That in reality, where a split at a certain moment of human civilization, whatever you want to call it, whereas in reality, the song and the poem is, is the same thing. The song, the poem, and the word are the same thing, they're, they're a unity. Then it's like a fragment, fragmentated split. Uh, it was an amazing performance, by the way. Thank you so much. This was a master class. Hey, may I just say uh, something? Yeah. I just want to tell you, I guess because I have this, I have this yearning to go to Cuba. Um, do you know the artist whose name is Ben Jones? Ben Jones? Uh -huh. Anyhow, he's been going back and forth. But I just want to say, I hear Guillen. I hear Nancy Morgan, sure, sure. I hear uh, Tanya Leon, I hear a spirit. That's what I hear. Do I make sense? <laughs> Thank you very much. You certainly do. Well, on that note, for those of us who don't understand Spanish, what were you, what was the poem you were creating or sharing? 
tonight, roughly? Was it a narrative? Was it an art? Or maybe you could tell us about the actual meaning or the words that you Was it just jumped in? Improvised? <laughs> Are you performing on the script? Yeah, or? Here. Uh, it's, it's, a very, it's a very interesting question. Uh, I think. Honestly, you could answer that question yourself. I actually can. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm asking. I mean, uh, <laughs> this is a, a, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a journey through sound. Uh, and uh, this sound carries certain emotions. And these emotions are associated to rhythms. But you did have a I understand some Spanish, but you did actually have some narrative there, some sense that you were getting across. I get the, I love sound poetry, the sound poetry itself, but we have some audience members who wish that they had understood Spanish because they got the very clear sense that what you were trying to say had meaning, right? And it's not just utterance. So, I'm that. Yeah. It's a good question. I, mean, I, I actually feel, uh, you know, I, I'm a, um, I'm a non-Spanish speaker, and I actually find it incredibly liberating to not have to listen to some, you know, like fragments of thought and sentiment and stuff, and just be in the condition of the use of the drum as a, uh, as a medium and as part of your poetics. I'm, I'm going to try to answer your question with, uh, with a story from my childhood, okay? The first, the first American song that I learned, I learned completely by heart, it was uh, Hotel California by the Eagles. Yes. Okay. And, Hotel, uh, California. Hotel California. And I didn't know the meaning of the song, so I just memorized the phonemes. became very popular with this. And I didn't know the meaning of the song. I didn't know I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know English. I don't know if this answers your question. No, but I, 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 get, I, get, I get the deep listening. I understand that completely. I think what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to honor audience members who got the sense that there actually was some story, some account, some fragment, some journalistic moment, and they were curious to know what that was. Okay, okay. Yes. And also because yes. our our calendar offered that this was a specific type of program. And yeah, we didn't want to know more about, about that. Like, you know, yeah. Uh, Here's my coach. Cybermetrics? No, no, no. Several narratives. I must insist on one point, however, before I go into the into the other narratives uh, or traditional or conventional narratives. To to develop a narrative established on sound, you know, in the here and the here and now. That's my work. That's what I. Then there are narratives of, uh, yes, uh, epics and history, and as you, you said, journalism, like everyday life. Uh, there are moments that you could compare to what uh, Ruben Blades did, you know, in the 70s with Willy Colon. That kind of, I would call it popular music. Uh, at the same time, however, there is a lot of playfulness around concepts such as philosophy, theorem, where the word is actually going around Greek words that are shared by many languages in the planet, including, of course, English. So that 
in many of these poems, there is actually a narrative about the absurdity of the barbarian communication that we are accustomed to establish or entertain. And the most interesting aspect of this barbarian communication is that it is precisely based around saints, meaning that is the most chaotic and absurd uh, element of this uh, system of reason. Uh, some scientists say that the Neanderthals spoke through sound waves. I don't know how they reached this conclusion. Maybe they don't know either. But this mm -hmm. is what they say is a nice uh, theory. Which means that they didn't have pronouns or you know, punctuation marks, it's just like flows or sounds. And Neanderthals are our contemporaries. Uh, are some of these poems, all these poems, none of these poems in Kubernetes? Are these new poems? Are these poems you improvised tonight? Kubernetes is part, is part of the experience of uh, the constant flow of immigration and emigration that a human being can suffer just through the act of living, just through the act of being alive. Comprehension of uh, linguistic features, you know, how these features w work, and specifically in the in the in the world of poetry. You know. So this is actually uh, I call it the material, which is very much composed of features and stereotypes. Could you translate for us? A few of the um, lines that you sang, just sort of randomly. How many? How many? How many? I, I don't know. <laughs> seven or eight. <laughs> just randomly. The last one. We are it's not a four B. We are not guilty. No, the, yeah. No, no, some of the culpable. Ah, the last one. Yeah. The last one. Uh, okay. The last one is a uh, description of uh, everyday life in a city which could be my city, Havana, or could be many other cities. And, uh, speaks of uh, a beggar. It's the first time I can have, that I saw in Havana, a beggar sleeping. Uh, on the sidewalk. On no, the yes, but an ATM machine. But an ATM machine, yeah. yes. It was the first time I saw it. It was not so long ago. I had seen it before so in some other places. So that kind of shocked me. And uh, then uh, there is also a phenomenon of the proliferation of fences and locks and, you know, in the cities. And in Havana, that's very strong. And uh, the schools, <laughs> the schools with fences, and uh, it's, 
this horrible place. And then also the, the smell of the city, how the city smells of urine, and how the products are adulterated, you know, are not 100% pure. Um, it's about decadence. Uh, but it's also about this, uh, which in Cuba, unfortunately, is very easy to, to witness. Uh, is this uh, collaboration between decadence and uh, energy? You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of entropy, if you want. So this song is a little bit about entropy. It's about it's about telephones that don't function and, and people saying uh, how you say viva viva you know long live I don't live and much more people stay in silence you know could you pick one more of the songs that you did and sort of translate or talk about in English uh, I would pick Pajarito which is like a popular song which says that uh, if you don't want to lose the half of your life that you you won't be able to find the, the lost part of your life if you don't you don't want to to die to go to heaven you don't want to suffer uh, but uh, you find no consolation and then the refrain goes like a bird that never fell from the nest, never learned how to fly. No? And uh, if you don't forget everything you know, you will not be able to learn new things. That kind of thing. Uh, first of all, uh, thank you. Um, I should really feel uh, very inspiration. God is uh, it's amazing. Uh, I felt uh, it was avant-garde. And, uh, and in a way, it was like uh, dancing in my head. I understand in Spanish, that's my first language, though. So I was like dancing, like it was realistic. And, 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 and the one thing that is very important that you just mentioned it is that the instrument as a material is very important to describe in ideas. But what I like it though, talking about the, the, the ideas that you present, is that uh, remind me to using as a reference of Krishna Murti. Why? Because uh, just give me a question in one thing, which I like it. You know? I'm talking about the poetry itself, that I was feeling, I was like a enjoy. <laughs> and, and I was like a wonder, you know, because usually, uh, it's very hard uh, as a poet and as an artist to break a, a, a wall of, 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 of stuff that you already established. And uh, I, I was feeling this. I was feeling that kind of experience that you, you guide me with the, with the, with the uh, Peruvian uh, tambor and, and with the lyrics itself. So I can, I guess, cut around. I was like putting like a, I was thinking about why Cuba Cubanology. I was wondering why, well, where does this come from? And, and, and then I was trying to put together, but then I get lost. I mean, and, and I'm talking about the language, the music, and, 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 and the, read, that I, the rhythm that I, it goes to. And uh, I just want to say thank you. And it was kind of exercise that bring me sad. I, I think that the idea is very much getting lost. That's what I felt. To reconnect, I would say. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's my question. <laughs> well, I was just, uh, I was prep, you know, to, like, tell us what Cubanology means. I wonder. Yeah, I wonder. Do you mean, do you mean the title of the book? Yeah. It means nothing. It's just a wordplay. It doesn't mean anything. It's a joke. <laughs> It's a serious show. So, so my idea is uh, we are all lost by your performance, and we are all lost by our reality that we live 
domestically every day. So ultimately, everything leads to the way where we have to reconnect. Good to be lost in the music. Others? You mentioned that you see a, a split right now in in the world um, and sort of the, the world's timeline at the moment. Um, could you describe a little bit um, what that split is and what that means? Um, when, I, when I asked the question about um, about uh, turning words into poetry, into songs, and there specifically, you mentioned uh, like a, a split in the world at the moment. Um, this is very old, that happened centuries ago. The split, yeah, so something, yeah. So what, um, what split were you referring to then? I was referring to the possibility to repair it. That is not done by making sense. As long as you continue with the obsession of making sense, the split will be there. Music will be here. Poetry will be there. He's talking about literacy. Painting. This is my coach again. He's talking about literacy. 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 You know what I mean? Split. But I'm just talking so. about. Um, the split is between music and poetry. That's what you're well, talking about. Well, it's literacy. I'm, 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 I'm among other things. Well, it's, it's, it's a type of literacy, though, right? I mean, it's a sort of, uh, like, a, an alienation through, like, definition, maybe? Is that what you mean? Wait, 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 wait. Why do you use the word literacy? Which comes from letter. Whereas poetry is much more ancient than that. You really have to go back to the center of the, you know, the 450 feet of the Yankee Stadium to catch that one. It's not done with the commonsensical appreciations of reality that we deal with every day. You really have to create some space to think about poetry as something that existed even before language. Because it's poetry which creates language. So that's what I'm talking about when I talk about the split. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, huh? Yeah. Praise the lady. <laughs> <laughs> just, this to me was a lesson because even oh, your warm-up. Warm I'm even, sorry. No, no, no. Even your warm-up was a prompt. You know, I wrote my own poem because I heard you. So that's a prompt to me. You know, and I wanted you to drum with saying nothing. <laughs> a little bit. Thank you for the, the drum. That makes sense. I think you make sense because that's what he was getting to. It's music and sound that carries through and everyone can connect to. And that, in turn, made gears start turning in your head that connected to different words, different experiences. And that what really connects, connects humanity versus having such differences, oh, this is literary, this is a literary, that for me, for you, for my culture, your culture. So it is really, we can all experience this together and feel it. Even without certain people really understanding every single word, you still feel it, and this moment that's happening is a moment that's happened many times before, thousands of years. So we're all part of this very human experience, which I think is what we're getting to, right? Anyone else? That. Sounds good. That's probably a good uh, note to end on. Thank you all for coming tonight. Uh, we'll continue our conversation with or without the drums upstairs. Uh, if you have a glass that you use for wine, I request that you bring that glass upstairs with you and continue drinking upstairs. We'll get copies of uh, Omar's book for sale up front, and Omar hopefully is down to sign them. Thank you all for coming. Please come back to post. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much.
Woo!